Hey, 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 Facebook Nation. Welcome to another exciting episode of Taste of the Tropics on the Joan Henry Show. But please don't go anywhere because we are going to be right back. Welcome back to Taste of the Tropics on the Joan Henry Show. I'm your host, of course, Jamaican Joan, and I'm super excited to be bringing you yet another exciting episode of some of the amazing, some of the best cooking coming out of Kingston, Jamaica, out of Chef Champion's Kitchen, okay? Of course, this is our third show, and... The first two was great, and tonight will be no different. We are about to throw down on Taste of the Tropics on the Joan Henry Show. So if you are watching, please do me a favor. Hit the share button on your device and share this um, live. You can keep all this good information to yourself. You got to share it with the world, right? So hit the share button, and if you're watching live, I need for you to drop in the feed where you're watching from. As the cooking go along, if you have any question, drop your question in the feed and I will be sure to ask the chef. You're here today with Chef Janet Jackson Dino. And um, she has a co-chef tonight. I don't even know if that's the word, but I'm making up stuff tonight. She has a co-chef by the name of Nikela. And normally, Nikela is a camera um, operator. But tonight she stepped up, she stepped out, and she's about to help in the kitchen. Wow, there's nothing like a mother teaching her daughter how to cook. That is big. That is amazing. So when she grew up and have her own home, guess what? She know how to throw down. So, all right. So we're going to get the party started here on um, Taste of the Tropics. But before I do that, let me shout out the man himself, Mr. Chef Champion. Shout out, shout out, shout out. So... Miss Janet Jackson Dennell, how are you this week? I am doing fantastic, John. How about you? I am super, super, super amazing. And um, so what are you going to be making for us here tonight? Well, tonight we will be making uh, for you a uh, stewed beef kidney. All right. So okay. this session, as you mentioned, is going to walk us through um me teaching my daughter how to cook that she has never cooked that before so i'm walking her through it from the beginning to the end okay so this is pretty much one of the scenario of using one stone to kill two birds right That's you're teaching right. your daughter and you're teaching the world Go on, girl with your bad go on with your bad self all right now that's what i'm talking about so as always let me see, what do I have tonight? I have some sweet red. You know, I got to have something while you do all that amazing cooking. I cannot just sit here and watch. So as always, I'm going to sip on my sweet red and you go right ahead and I turn the, the cooking over to you, my dear. That's right. All right. So welcome again, everyone. And as we mentioned, that we're going to be cooking stewed beef kidney. Um, so we're going to take you from the beginning. All right. So... So this is so this is what our kidney looks like. All right, we have already cleaned our kidney, so we've cleaned it and we have washed it in water and a little vinegar. All right, so the vinegar will kind of take away that little freshness away from it. All right, so we have um, you know. <laughs> Okay. So we have uh, washed it with vinegar and water, and then we have marinated it with some onion, garlic, scallion, and thyme. What we have done, we have blended this marination. So we put it in the blender, the onion, garlic, scallion, thyme, put it in the blender, and we blended it. So this is what it looks like, and this is what we have marinated our beef kidney in. All right, so this has been marinated for approximately four hours since we've marinated this and having it ready, soaked and ready for you. All right, and then um, we have a little bit of soy sauce, which we're going to put on it as well, just a little bit of that to add a little bit of flavor and give a little color at the same time. All right, what we're going to serve our kidney with tonight is some 
the real stuff, the real deal, some green bananas, yes, yeah? some boiled green bananas. This is what we're going to serve our kidney with tonight. All right. So can we start, Joan? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you, Effie Barrett out of Florida for tuning in. Enjoy the show because I know I will. <laughs> All right. There we go. All right. So first of all, what we're going to do, we're going to make our pot hot. So our pan is already on top of our stove with just a little bit of oil in it, a little bit of vegetable oil. We're going to make that hot. And then after that, then we're going to put our kidney inside. So we're kind of braising off our kidney a little bit. Yeah run it off a little bit in the pan. Then we're going to cover. All right, we're going to cover to simmer before we add our vegetables. All right, so we're going to get right into that just about now. Okay, viewers, if you're just tuning in, you're watching Taste of the Tropics on the Joan Henry Show featuring Chef Champions Kitchen. And we have Chef Janet Jackson Dinnell tonight, who's our chef for tonight. So enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. And if you missed the two previous weeks, you can always go back and check it out. It's on YouTube, or you can check it out on my Facebook page, The Joan Henry Show. So thank you so much for tuning in. Beautiful. All right, so here we go. Here we have Michaela here, and um, I'll, I've already given her a little theory as to what has happened. She's the one who marinated this, by the way. I showed her how, so she's the one who blended it, and she's the one who marinated it. <laughs> my daughter's in the background. Oh my god, <laughs> my three year old, Teresa. Love you, mommy. Love you. Just one second, don't want to. <laughs> okay, so what? Yes, well, that's a chef in the making. So she step away just for a second to take care of baby girl. She just talking her own cooking language. Don't mind her. So yes, Fiona, I see your question. Fiona out of Canada. Thank you, girl, for always tuning in. She's making stew, stew beef kidney. Right, you get that stew beef kidney. That's what she's making tonight. And I see she hold up some green bananas. I'm like, okay, it's about to go down. All right. Okay, so, Nikela, here we go. All right, so we have our oil in the pan already over here on the stove top. And now she's going to put her kidney inside the pan. All right. So, here we go, Nikela. You're going to need this. Yeah, so you can use this too. Scoop it if you be careful. Don't stand too close to it. All right. Take your time, take your time, I'm sorry. You're a little scared of the stove, you know? There you go. All right, you need to clear that wrong a little bit. Yes, Fiona, it is, it is, it is a family affair. That's right. <laughs> chef champion, chef wife champion, and chef daughter champion, all chef cooking. <laughs> it's a cooking show. It's a cooking family. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> It's a family affair, Fiona. Yes. One of these days, we're going to take Chef Champion out the kitchen. We're going to retire him, and, and you guys are going to be cooking. <laughs> that's right. That's right. <laughs> you all know I like to provoke Chef on this show. I can't wait for him to type something for me to read. Chef Champion, why are you so quiet tonight? Come on, man. <laughs> I hope he didn't fall asleep, right? <laughs> oh, no. He, no, he's bright as bushy tail. He's just not saying anything. <laughs> So where are we at now with the kitchen, with the cooking? Okay, so now it's still on the stove here. All right, the kidneys inside. Get your fork again, Michaela. You need your fork. We're going to stir up a little bit. All right, so we stir a little bit because we don't want it to stick to the pan. All right, so she stir a little bit. And then... So, um, Chef Janet... Yeah. Okay, so prior to um, Nikayla pouring the the kidney into the pot, yeah, did you what did you have in there? A butter, some oil? What did a you have? Oil, a little vegetable oil, only a little okay. vegetable oil. Not too much because what's going to happen if you put too much oil? Then your end product is going to be the sauce is going to be a little bit oily, you know, too okay. oily. So that's what we had there, just a little bit of vegetable oil to grease the pan. 
and then the kidney is now brazing a little bit yeah don't cover it yet we don't suggest you cover your kidney yet because we want that excess amount of water to go all right and then after that then we're going to add our vegetables and then we'll cover it so it can stew okay okay right. yeah all right so while that is happening what we're going to do we're going to peel our bananas in the meantime because you know our bananas has to be cooked all right so to save time so while that's on the stove we're going to peel our bananas okay are you so, ready chef janet so um fiona wants to know do you put any garlic or pepper in the oil before no. you no, because we have already we have already blended our marination, which was our garlic, uh, onion, thyme, scallion. So we have blended that, and the kidney is already marinated with that. So we didn't put any garlic or anything in the oil. I know some people do. They burn the garlic in the oil so you can get that extra flavor from the garlic. But we think we have enough garlic in this marination for that. So we didn't put any extra in the oil. Okay, okay. Right. So... Now, what we're going to do, we're going to peel our bananas. So I'm actually going to show her how we peel bananas. All right. In Jamaica, I know a lot of people, especially foreigners, they do mark their bananas. So they cut it and put a mark on it, and then they boil them in the skin. Can be done as well. That's fine, too. But in Jamaica, how we do it, we peel them so we get rid of the skin. All right. So we're going to show you how we do that. Because bananas has so much stain on them. What we do is grease our hands with a little oil. All right, could be any oil, vegetable oil. So you're gonna grease your hands with your little. Oops, a little bit too much. All right, give me some of that, that's fine. That's right. Okay, so we're greasing our hands. And the grease we're greasing our hands is to get rid of that excess stain from the bananas. Otherwise, it gives you takes a long time to get rid of, yeah? After you peel with your bare hands. Or if you want to use a pair of gloves, that's all right too. But this is the good old, old fashioned way, all right? How we peel our bananas at home, okay? So this is your banana. So we get rid of this part of it, which is basically the stem. And then we make a mark right here. You're not cutting it all the way through, just marking it. And of course you've got this part as well too, okay? And then we're going to peel. It's always good to put in a little water, a little bowl of water. That also helps with the amount of stain that you have, all right? So we're getting rid of the, the skin from our banana. See? Easy. <sighs> right? <laughs> and if we have any of that skin left there, then we can just use the knife and we finish the bread. And you drop that in your water because... You put that in your water because in doing so, put it in the water, then you prevent the bananas from being discolored. Because you know, after peeling the banana, the skin is out, then of course it turns, it starts to turn black. So you put it in your water to prevent that. Okay. So and Fiona said use your using using side thumb, not the nails. So <laughs> <laughs> Okay, no problem. I know a lot of people have different ways of doing it. All right. Okay. You watching me, Nikayla? Yeah. Okay. And you're not, the aim is not to break your bananas. Okay. Because you want a, a, a full banana when you finish boiling. Okay. You want the, the whole banana and not in two pieces or three pieces. Okay. So just like this. All right. And you put it in the water. So now it's your turn. So Nikayla is going to peel her bananas right now. Okay. Come through, Nikayla. Come through. Come through. You got this. Let's go. Let's go. Go through. <laughs> you need to hold your knife a little bit better than that, Nikayla. Come on. Your knife skill is not so good. Be careful. I don't want you to cut yourself. Yeah? You go from here, okay? The blade is not too sharp, so it's okay. Mm -hmm. So it won't cut you. All right, or you want the smaller knife? You want the smaller knife? Yes. Maybe the smaller knife. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, I think you'll do better with this one, right? Like the smaller knife. All right. Okay. 
So you're going to do it like how I do it. You're going to hold your knife better than let Michaela look. All right. So in this first room here, you're going to do like this. Okay. Mm -hmm. All the way down to the bottom. Okay. And then you cut here. All right. And then feel that one. You're going to do the next one the same. Oh, All right. We're waiting for you, girl. We're waiting for you. Thank you, Millie, for tuning in. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Millie, for tuning in. We're watching. <laughs> We're watching Chef Champions Kitchen here making stew kidney. Thank you for tuning in. Yes, Fiona. She, I'm, Fiona said that she's so glad she's a country girl. You and me both. <laughs> I was born a country girl, you could tell, right? And, and that's that's the thing about this show. It's not the typical everything that you could just walk into a Jamaican store and purchase. These are things that I don't even know if it's prepared in the States. This is the kind of cooking that you're going to see coming out of Chef Champion Kitchen, that's out of Kingston, Jamaica, the old time cooking, not just something that you could go to any restaurant and purchase. These are all unique cooking so i hope that you guys are enjoying it okay that's it so here we have yay she did it <laughs> so here we have our green bananas ready for boiling all right so we're just going to add a little bit of salt to the water and then we're going to add our bananas so the bananas go in the water when it's boiling okay not before it's boiling that's when the bananas go in See if this water is boiling now, Michaela. All right, we're checking our water and see if it's ready. Our water is almost ready to go. So, Michaela, get me compliment. Fiona said that Michaela is very pretty. Oh, that's nice. Okay, thank you. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> pretty chef, pretty chef, pretty chef, yes. <laughs> thank you, thank you so much. All right, so we have, I'm helping her to stir her kidney pot over here at the same time. We don't want it to get burned, right? Be careful. Okay, so. Let's check if our water is already boiling here. Oh, yeah, we are ready to go, Michaela. Ready to go. So your bananas are going in now. Yeah, so take them off one by one and put them inside. Be careful. All right, and we already add a little salt to the boiling water. There we go. Beautiful. All right, then we're going to cover that. And that's going to boil for at least 15 minutes, okay? And those bananas. Okay. So Fiona, Fiona, I actually had to ask that question earlier, how long is the cooking? And everything will be within 40 minutes. Yes. Everything that is being done right now will be done within 40 minutes. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So where we are now, we're just waiting for... Oh. Right. right now, we're just waiting for a banana to boil. So that's going to take us approximately 15 minutes, as I told you. Water is boiling, bananas are boiling over there. And our kidney is still cooking over here. In just a short while, we're going to add our extra vegetables to our kidney. So that's going to, and then we're going to cover it and let that simmer. All right? So, okay. Right. Fair enough. So okay. at this point, let me just use this time to shout out again all those who are watching live and those who will be watching the replay go again go ahead um chef chef janet you you were saying something no 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 i wasn't all right so while we wait i'm gonna go to a quick commercial break you know just show a few so viewers don't go anywhere keep it locked keep it locked keep it locked so this is my company out in the fields real estate consulting firm so if you're looking for um, property management in the state of Maryland. I'm your girl for that. We offer wholesaling, residential lending, credit repairs, uh, again, property management. We have a cleaning component where we clean 
homes before they get put on the market. So contact us. That's the information on how you can reach us. Also, starting February, the second Monday in February, I'm going to be hosting a live um, live stream so that you can ask the experts any question you want to ask. And the expert in this case, this will be Lillian Middleton, who is a residential financing person, a lender. Stacey McLennan, who is a realtor. We have Mr. Leroy McKenzie Jr., who is a credit repair person. And of course, I'm going to be talking about property management and wholesaling. So if you mark your calendar and join us and ask us just about any question that you might have to ask. So where are we, um, Chef Janet? All right, so we're just about ready. We're gonna add our vegetables to the kidney right now. All right, but bananas are still boiling. So we're gonna add our vegetables to the kidney. So first we're gonna add a little bit of onions. So here we go, Nikela. We're gonna add some onions here, you might need them. All right, you can go to half of the amount. You don't have to put all of it. So while you do that, let me, well, let me pass the question along. Let me not try to answer anything. So Millie wants to know, uh -huh. is this type of banana planting? Is oh, it planting? Yes. They're from the same family because a lot of people, they call um, plantains, banana, banana plantains. But the plantains are a bigger version of the banana, right? And um, the plantain in its green form because of course you know they have to be green and then they go to ripe you know on the right side they're sweet so the green plantains you can use them to do a lot of stuff you know and especially the latinos they use a lot of plantains but we use more bananas all right so a green bananas is it's a typical jamaican breakfast item boiled green bananas so that's what we use here and then in the ripe when it's ripe you know in the right form of course everybody knows ripe bananas so yes we do ripe planting green planting because we use it to make fritters and you know we fry them green and crush them like how the latinos do for the planting and then the bananas is pretty much we uh, boil them and eat them green or we wait until they're ripe and we eat them as ripe bananas okay fair enough yep all so, right so where are we at now right so she has added some onions to her, um, her stew. She's going to add a little carrot as well. Yep. So Fiona wants to know uh, what else is in the pot besides the bananas? What else? Fiona, what else is in the pot besides the bananas? Only bananas we use it right now. What you could put? You could put um, if you like. You could put a slice of yellow yam with that. You know that's nice also or the same ripe plantains those are nice boiled as well i know a lot of people do fry them but in the right form you just cut it cut it in like three one plantain you cut it in three in the skin and everything and you boil it just like that fantastic so that will be good with your kidneys as well your grown provisions is usually the best thing with your kidney but now we're just using boiled bananas only for tonight but you can use those okay well okay um millie i'm so glad we were able to teach you something tonight millie said that millie never knew about cooking green bananas so now you know yeah all right the best millie is really good really good and in olden days they used to say oh you get a lot of iron from that <laughs> you know well that's what, they actually say you do get um iron from bananas now i don't know that for sure if that's a fact but yeah. i know that I've heard that many times yeah. that you do have iron from bananas. From bananas, right. All right. So she has added her onions. She has added some carrots. Now she's going to add some sliced tomatoes. Okay, thank you, Chef Champion. Confirming that getting iron from banana is okay. indeed a fact. Thank you for clearing that up for me. All right. And she's also adding some green bell peppers. And this is basically for uh, color. This is adding some color and flavor. 
all right and that is why we're putting it while it's halfway through so you don't get all of your vegetables cooked up all right okay and if you realize that your pot is drying out too much you can add a little bit of water yeah so you just add a little bit of water to that all right Michaela, how is that? All right. Michaela likes it already. And then what she's gonna do now is pretty much cover her pot with her uh, kidney to steam a little bit. All right, so that is gonna be covered. All right. Under bananas, let me have a look at your bananas, Michaela. See what's happening with your bananas? Oh, well. Our bananas are boiling also. So we're getting there. Yes. Getting there. So, Chef Michaela, how do you feel to peel bananas tonight? What is, <laughs> how do you feel right now? I'm not sure. <laughs> how do you feel, girl? I wasn't expecting this, to be honest. They just called me up in the kitchen and I said, Tonight is your night. <laughs> Well, you're 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 doing just fine. <laughs> so when she you heard know, green banana, she said me. I said yes, you. <laughs> if you if you can peel a banana without breaking it, you are doing just fine. Because I was sitting there looking like, oh my God, it's gonna break. Uh uh. <laughs> if I if I peel ten bananas, trust me, eight of them is it will break. Maybe two might come out. In its full form, so I, I I give you kudos for that. <laughs> She's excited. She's excited. Yep. Most chef champion is excited too. He's like, oh my god, what are you doing with my daughter? <laughs> I know. <laughs> All right. So that's good. So in the meantime, Joan, um, you don't mind if I send some. Um, some big ups in the meantime while we wait. No, you could go ahead and do your shout out because like right now we are waiting. And so before you start your shout out, uh -huh. just in case somebody just joined, right? <laughs> Millie advice that you use a peeler. Ah, uh, it's a... Okay, <laughs> Millie. <laughs> use a peeler, okay. So before you do that, for somebody who may just be joining in, uh -huh. just walk, take us back to the beginning. What is it that you're making and the process to where you are right now. Okay, well tonight we're making, um, it's actually a teaching session. I'm teaching my daughter how to make stewed beef kidneys. All right, so from the beginning what we do, we have blended our marination for kidneys, which is garlic, scallion, thyme, and onions. So we put those in the blender and we've blended that and then we've marinated our kidneys for at least four hours. We've been marinated our kidneys and then after that then we uh, put our pot, uh, our pot on the stove to heat all right and then once that's heated with some oil a little vegetable oil then we add our kidneys all right so we add our kidneys and then that is sauteed in the pan for some time and then after that we add our vegetables okay so our vegetables are um, onions carrots some sliced tomatoes and some green bell peppers so that's what we're using tonight all right so right now that's where we're at we've covered our pot with our kidney and that's chewing down a little bit all right before we will um taste it and see how it is if we need to have a little more seasoning or something uh we'll see so we're going to check that in just a few minutes and then we also going to be serving that with some boiled green bananas all right um so our boiled bananas are in the pot as well cooking all right so we're waiting for that as we speak okay so that's where we're at right now okay awesome so while we wait just go ahead and shout out the folks you wanted to shout out while we wait all right so um as usual shouting out to our sponsors all right could uh, be possible without them so thank you thank you thank you know who you are and um also to our peeps or roadside peeps who's always supporting us we thank you as well lisa barry beetle lucille baldi all the roadside peeps uh, nail all right all our canada peeps over there in alberta canada china Aaron, in a cayman uh, 
over there in New York. We have Michelle, we have Karen over there. We have the Chambers, Tula, how are you? All right, and um, in Connecticut as well, we have the rest of the dinners over there. Big up yourself, Gary, big up yourself, and Jan, big up yourself over there. Daddy Jamie, big up yourself, big up yourself. All right, Kamal, Kamal, yeah, champion kitchen up, up, and up, and up. Um, and um, all our Indians, our Indians, our Filipinos, uh, big up yourself, big up yourself. Couldn't be doing this without you all and your support. All right, so thank you, thank you, thank you once more. Yeah, Chef Champion Kitchen, up and up, all the way okay awesome so yes so yes fiona um i hope you read that chef champion said big up chef fiona yes fiona is doing her yes, thing too always the there <laughs> yeah she's yeah she's always ever present on here and you know she is her own chef within her own rights too she that's she right. does her thing but Thank you know you. that's that's what it's all about you know we support each other and I'm sure Chef Champion, you know, follow her as well. And that's what it's all about, you know. That's right. There, there, there's enough to go around for everyone. Let's put it this yep. way. So we can support each other and so we all can win because that's what it's all about at the end of the day. So true. We, all, we are not doing the things we are doing just because we don't have anything else to do. We are doing it because we have a goal. Yep. One thing or another, we have a goal. So, yes. So true. All right. We have to see support each other so tell us where the cooking at right now where right, are we at the pot now to see what's going on banana is looking okay look like this and the cooking pot is here with this cool girl let me see what's going on in your pot here right now all right your pot looks like it could take a little bit of water oh this is beautiful lovely lovely add a little bit of water not too much just a little bit more. There we go. Alrighty. Alright, we're almost ready. Kidneys are almost ready to go. In another five minutes, kidneys will be ready. Alright. And bananas, almost ready as well. So we have approximately eight to 10 minutes left. Cooking is over. Right, John? Okay, Millie is a ACF member from South Florida. Thank okay. you for the lesson and thank you, Millie, for tuning in. You could have been doing anything mm -hmm. else on this fine uh, Friday night, especially you're in Florida, you are not in Maryland like myself in the cold, you could have been doing anything else that you, you choose to do, but you choose to spend your time with us and we appreciate you. Know that we appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you, Millie, thank you. And you know, I have a girlfriend over there in Maryland as well, you know. Her name is, uh, she's a teacher. That was my classmate, yeah. So we oh, yeah. still teach sometimes, you know, Andrea, Andrea Callum. She's from the Monique area as well, you know. So big up yourself, big up yourself. Drisco, Drisco, big up yourself. This is JJ. They used to call me um, Jello when we were going to school. I don't know why. But <laughs> so, Michaela, do you think that one of these days you might become a chef? Nobody <laughs> <laughs> is watching you. Better answer. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Just maybe. Maybe I'm most I'm most interested in baking more than cooking. Okay, just maybe. Like you didn't say no. You said maybe. That's always that leaves room for yes. <laughs> yeah, she likes to bake cakes, oh. cookies, and all these things. Yeah, so she prefers the baking aspect of the cooking. Okay. Right. So maybe I have oh, yeah. a chef. You know what? I was wondering when I see Billy Tat, the ACF um, chef, I was wondering if it was the same ACF that American Culinary Federation, like yeah. you are. So, um, 
I see you guys just confirmed that for me. Yeah, okay. So see people making connection on here. Um, Millie is also with the ACF, just like Chef. So that's good. That's good. That's good. Very good. So they okay. have to come on, right? Exactly. That's right. Okay. That's right. Good, good, good. Okay. All right. So right now, as it is, Joan, I'm going to turn the heat off the kidney because the kidney is ready to go. All right. Okay. So heat is turning off. Taylor, turn off your heat from your kidney. All right. That's ready to go. And then we're waiting for the bananas. Just a few more minutes. Right, Taylor? You want to check? Use your... And so while we wait for the, um, that, let me just use this time to shout out again those who are watching live and all those who will be watching the replay because I know that there's a lot of folks who definitely watch the replay. And so thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning in to Taste of the Tropics on the Joan Henry Show. And let me shout out my folks, my mom and everyone, Christina up in New York. And of course, let me shout out everyone in Jamaica. And not just Jamaica, but Victoria District, home of Jamaican Joan. I know you guys go back and watch the replay, and you're going to hear me shout you out. So I make sure that I shout you out. Now, last week, somebody messaged me and said, what about the people from Thompson Town? Uh -huh. Now, if you're watching, Thompson Town is one, maybe a mile or so from Victoria. But see, when I lived in Jamaica, my address said Victoria District. So, of course, I'm going to be shouting out the folks from Victoria. But let me use this time to shout out every single person in Thompson Town, Clarendon. Thank you for tuning in. <laughs> so, Victoria, Clarendon, wherever you're from, thank you for tuning in. And you see me wrapping my Jamaican shirt tonight again. Love it, love it, love it, Joan. Love it, love it. You, you know, every week I got to rip a piece of my Jamaican gear. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Pauline Thomas, Auntie Pauline out of Germantown, Maryland, for tuning in. Thank you, Auntie. Nice, nice. So, well, Auntie, we you. are making stew kidney, stew kidney beef. Did I say that correct? Stew yes. beef kidney. Yes. Stew yes. beef kidney with boiled green bananas. Don't forget green bananas. Yep. I know Auntie can throw down. I'm sure she knows how to make that, but <laughs> I'm sure she can also see a step that she has not seen before. Right. Like last the cooking from last week, I'm still stuck on the coconut milk that you put in the in, in, in the cook cook down. I was like, wow. Salted. Oh, that was lovely. That was, it, it, lovely. It was. So far, so good. All of the everything, all of the cooking out of Chef Champion's Kitchen so far has been really, really great. And again, we're not doing the typical stuff that anybody can do or everybody already know about. We're cooking things that are different, things that will be new to some people's ears, just like Millie learned for the first time about tonight about green banana. So we want to do things that we want the wow factor. We don't want the okay. We want the wow. See, we try to have a wow show, not just you know. Okay. No, we don't. We don't do okay. We are very extra on this show. We do wow. Okay. All right. All right. So we're cooking our bananas now with a fork to see. Yeah. Once this fork goes in, that means our bananas are ready. They're cooked. So we're gonna check on them now to see if they're ready to go. All right. Okay. Excited. Yeah. Shout out again to Chef Michaela helping in the kitchen, getting her feet wet so that when she grow up to be the amazing young lady that she's going to be, she know how to cook. Exactly. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, so it'll be beauty with skills, right? Of course, beautiful. Yes, yes, yes. Just two more minutes, two more minutes on our bananas. Then we're going to check them. Okay. Yeah. And let me just shout out the folks over there um, who will be watching the YouTube. 
whether it's from my YouTube um, that I'm streaming on also, or whether you're watching it from Chef Champion Kitchen, shout out to everyone over there on YouTube. And if you're watching now or the replay, please go to YouTube and subscribe to Chef Champion's Kitchen. That's the name of this program, Chef Champion Kitchen. Please subscribe, subscribe, and subscribe some more, okay? We thank you in advance. Very good. Thank you, John. All right. <laughs> All right, so don't so tonight we will be serving. Yeah, we're almost ready to make our presentation. So we will be serving our kidneys on a on a bed of pak choy, okay? So we have some pak choy here. So what we're gonna do with our pak choy, we're gonna quickly blanch them. Yes, we're gonna quickly blanch them in some hot water. It's like maybe 15 seconds inside and remove them, put it on the plate, and that's what we're gonna serve our kidneys on. And then our green bananas to the side. All right, so just to let you know what why do you do that? Why do you dip the pak choy in the water, in the in the hot water? We want to wilt it a little bit, yeah, yeah. So we kind of wilt it a little bit, so it's not as crunchy. You know what I mean? So it's basically, you know, it, it complements the kidney because the kidney is already cooked. So we are uh, because usually pak choy is cooked before eaten. All right. It's not like I mean, cabbage. Cabbage can be eaten raw because, of course, coleslaw and so on, and some of the other vegetables. But most times we cook a pak choy a little bit before, so we're just going to wilt it a little bit, and then we're going to serve our kidneys on top of it. All right. Okay. Sounds good. All right. Okay. All this good cooking every week. Oh my goodness. Now y'all see, I can't eat. So I just got a drink. So <laughs> yes, yes, yes. All this good food. I cannot wait to go to Jamaica to Chef Champions. Oh kitchen. my God. I know. We can't wait to feed you, John. Yep. Just can't wait. Yep. I'm, I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to put our bananas in here. Yeah. So we're going to put our bananas in here. This one. Good use it. All right, so we're going to remove our bananas now from the boiling water. They're cooked. So we're going to remove them, okay? Before we serve. <laughs> yes, Billy, I feel you. Cheers, cheers, cheers. <laughs> She's afraid of all this heat. <laughs> It's hot, it's hot, it's hot. <laughs> and yes, we definitely certainly appreciate you all tuning in. Again. This is every Friday at 8.30 p.m. right here on this network. Tune in. We have a lot more cooking to come our way. We're going to be having a mixologist who's so going to be mixing some good old Jamaican mixtures for you real soon. So you got to keep it locked because you just never know what you may learn how to do on Taste of the Tropics. That's right. Lots of good things going to come out of Taste of the Tropics. I can see it already. Oh, yeah. So now I'm putting uh, my pak choy in the hot water. Okay, so we're wilting it now. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful. 
All right. Just a little bit, and then we are going to serve. Let me just go ahead and shout you out in the meantime, Chef Jack. You're doing the daggone thing. It's not, I mean, it's one thing to cook, but to be able to explain what you and cook and get it right, that's a skill set indeed. So thank you for all these amazing production week after week. You're doing an amazing job. So, where is um, Kayla, where is the bowl? All right, so I said just about 15 seconds, and that's all right. I really wish there wasn't a problem to play like some music. I would have had some great music playing in the background. Oh, yeah, I'm going to turn it up, right? <laughs> <laughs> Too much work to be, you know, you don't own the rights and all that stuff. Yes. So, Copyright, this, that, I know, I know. Yeah, that's just too much work. Yeah. But yes. So I want you to just imagine that some of the greatest Bob Marley song is playing right now and just move to the beat and watch the cooking. <laughs> oh, that's right. Yes. All right. So here we go. So we are ready now, John. After oh, yeah. after removing from the hot water our pak choy, we are just going to add a little bit of salt. Are right, Kayla? I think you may want to send, do something with your camera. Yeah, are you? You can see better. Not seeing me? You can see me now, better? Um, but I can okay. see you, but I, we need to see the, the plates and the, uh, there you go, right? Oh, yeah. There yeah. you go. Okay, come here. All right, so what we're gonna do here now, Come here, I can. All right, so that's what you're going to be using. All right, so let's remove this from here. This is also hot. Got a lot of steam coming out of this kitchen, right? See that? <laughs> okay. okay, so. Oh, okay. So that's the pak choy. The pak choy, right? We're going to put the pak choy here, and Michaela also going to have pak choy over here as well. So we're basically making two presentations, right? Yeah. All right. So from here, where's my spoon? Michaela, got my spoon. Michaela, got a spoon for Michaela. All right. Kayla, here we go. She's fixing the camera. Say, can you see everything? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. Come to Kayla. All right. Okay. So, so you're going to do just what you see. Yeah? yeah. It's going to follow me. Okay. So, if you want to turn your plate to that angle because you're right handed. Yeah. So, we're putting the kidneys. Right across here, okay? Right across here, not too much sauce on our plate, okay? And you're trying to get some of your vegetables in as well. All right, so you can go ahead. Not too much of the sauce because you don't want it to get all. Okay. Slowly. I'm going to put it there. You need this, okay. All right, so she's making another plate. 
over there. Look it up. How are you looking there? Yeah. It's not bad. It just made me be a little bit more feel thick. Here. There we go. Like right? Put a little bit of the sauce now. Yeah. On top of it. All right. And then I'm gonna put your bananas. Yeah. Put a little bit of sauce. Not too much. There we go. Beautiful. All right, so we can get rid of this part now. All right, we get this out of the way. All right, and then you're going to put your bananas. So look how I put my bananas. So you're going to turn your face like this, and you put your bananas. Yeah, so I put my bananas there. So you put your bananas as well. Yep. There we go. All right. Wow. So there we go, John. I did so. I clap. I did that right, John. I live for this part of the show. <laughs> And now, so if you're just tuning in, that means you need to rewind because you have missed an entire production. This is the final, this is the presentation. You're watching Stew Kidney and Green Banana over Pat Shaw. And look at that. Oh my goodness. Okay, you want you want to bring it up a little bit closer to the camera? We're going to bring it up, and then just about then, we're going to tip just to finish it off, just tip a little bit of salt. On your pot soy, just a little bit. On yours as well, Nicola. Killa, a little bit. And a little bit of olive oil. All right. There we go. Just wow. And a little bit of olive oil. Just a tad, yeah? There we go. Beautiful. All right, and there you have it. Wow. So you can you can bring it up, bring it a little bit closer in. We're gonna bring it with fiction the camera so we can bring it a little closer to you. Mm -hmm. Michaela, you're gonna hold yours in your hand. Yeah, hold it up to the camera. All right, so look at that. Wow, that is totally, totally no, um, yeah, keep her right there, right there. Right. Hold it up. All right. Is there a way to tilt it just a tad bit like Nikayla's? Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. There we go. Can you see? Oh yes, I I can see. I like the way Nikayla is holding hers. You can see everything. Um, Chef Janet, there you go. Like kind of tilted. Yeah. So you okay. can see so the stew, stew, uh, stew kidney over. Choy with green bananas. Thank you, um, Auntie Pauline. Thank you so much. She's loving it. She's loving it. Wow. Thank you so much, Millie. Millie says it looks beautiful. It absolutely looks beautiful. And I could only ma imagine how delicious it tastes. Oh, my goodness. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Yes, yes. I got to give it to you guys tonight. Another amazing production. Yes. <laughs> This time, mother and daughter. Hey, chef, they're about to put you out of business, man. <laughs> <laughs> chef, you better watch it. I'm telling you. <laughs> now, it's not wifey, but wife and daughter, man. I don't know, chef. I don't know. <laughs> you got to do something, man. No, but it's all good. It's a family affair. It's a family affair. This has been an, yet another amazing production. And all this was done within the hour. So this is not something that you got to spend two hours cooking because you already take care of the marinating piece up front. So this way, when it's time to cook, you know, besides it's always good to marinate your food and just give it a better taste. Exactly. So once you marinate it, once you get to, when you get ready to cook, it's something that can be done within the house. Something so, I, I, I'm going to say tasty because I could only imagine how tasty it is. 
the presentation and having watched this thing prepared in front of our eyes is just amazing, amazing, amazing. This was yet another amazing production, Chef Janet Jackson Dinner. And as always, I thank you for your 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 whatever you do your promotion here your your demo see I, i'm i'm so I'm, I'm so caught up into the food i'm lost for words imagine jamaican joe lo being lost for words that don't really happen it just happened so another amazing production and like i said earlier it's one thing to know how to cook but being able to cook and teach somebody else how to cook at the same time doing a presentation making sure you have every all your ducks line up in a row you know what to put next what goes next that's some. That's a great skill set. Yeah. Not everybody. I'm sure you have some people. They may be the best cook, but they would never be able to do what you are doing, preparing it step by step, knowing what goes next for the world. Because this is for the world. This is international. Everybody watches my show. This is an international show. People out of Switzerland, Jamaica, Canada, Cayman Islands, the world always <laughs> tune to the Joan Henry show. So I'm sure. I, I speak correctly when I said for the world, but thank you so much again. And I'm looking to see if there's any question. And uh, Millie said everything. It's stronger when you work with family. Absolutely, Millie. I'm a very family oriented person myself. I believe in, you know, partnership with family because all that begins at home. If you cannot, you know, get along with your folks and do things together, it's going to be hard for you to even get that done with a stranger, with somebody you don't know. So yes, it's yes. it's a family affair and I love it. I'm glad that I sneak my way into this family, uh, Millie. I sneak my way into this family and they can't get rid of me even if they try. They are <laughs> All right, so Chef Janet, so anything else you you want to share with us before we end? Because we are the, the production, we have completed our cooking for tonight, and I know that normally on a Friday night. You guys, whatever you're prepared now, that's also your dinner. So also don't yeah. want to hold you up from enjoying what you worked so hard to prepare. So I'm not going to try to keep you on here much longer. So is there anything else you or Nikayla wants to share before y'all go? No, we're pretty much, um, I think we have said um, enough. Nikayla is not much of a talker, <laughs> as you noticed. <laughs> She'll get with it. She's more, more of an action person, you know, so she's not too much of a talker. Well, just want to say thank you for adopting us, Joan. Uh, <laughs> thank you, thank you so much. Thank you for your continued support. All right, and we look forward in working with you for a very long time. All right, oh, absolutely. As long as you all, as long as you all make me make sure that I'm drinking something on the. <laughs> I can't get none of this good food, so the least I could do is drink something. That's right. That's right. So if you were. Join us next week at 8 p.m. for another exciting episode. They never tell me what they're going to be cooking, so I have no idea. So you're going to have to tune in. I don't know what they're cooking until the day off. So, <laughs> so join me next week. Join us next week to find out what we're going to be cooking, and I'm sure it's going to be an, another amazing dish. So thank you for watching again, whether you're watching the live or you're watching the replay. Thank you for tuning in to Taste of the Tropics on the Joan Henry Show. I'm your host. I've been your host, Jamaican Joan. And until next time, you take care and make this a million dollar day. Jamaican Joan and Chef Janet Jackson Dino, along with assistant chef, Miss Michaela. And of course, the man himself, Mr. Chef Champion. We appreciate you. We are out and see you next week.